Hey everybody, welcome to Bandite's Let's Sculpt Sculpt January day 25. My name is Cedric and let's jump right into it. I am a bit tired. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, we're live, everything works. Yes, it's very good. Very fine indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Um <laughs> sorry, I just I just finished uh, watching a spiffing Brit video uh, in the background. And uh yeah. <laughs> now I'm in the mood for some tea. So the topic today is reptile, which is um, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know what I'll do yet. I'm somewhere between making a dragonborn or something cute, or you know. Um, I was also thinking about reptile from Mortal Kombat, but it's not that interesting of a character to be honest. Um, hey there, Zander. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Bro oh, God. My uh, headphones. Yeah, I need to redo that cable here. Okay. Um, frogs are cute. I was thinking about doing a frog in a suit, but that's not really a reptile, is it? Frogs aren't reptile, they're amphibian. And I know I can kind of bend the rules, but I feel like I will be called out too much then. Um, for some reason. <laughs> um, it's a really cool design. Uh, I think the most straightforward reptile is to have a crocodile. Uh, let's just do that. I'm, I'm going to do something a little bit simpler today because I still need to finish the one from yesterday. And that's kind of... Um, I don't want to have any unfinished ones. I am going to... I'm not going to stream that. But what I'm going to do is add that to the... Um, whoops. Uh, I'm just going to go... Yeah, it's the front view. Okay, cool. It's back. Back to the front. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it to... I'm going to record it and add it to the... Um, uh, speed sculpts that I'll add then. Gonna try and get a shape in here and a basic neck. Oh, man, and you, I really need to get used to this, <laughs> this new snake hook. It's still, uh, I don't know a new version. I don't know if the new clay strip is already in there. Um, does it feel different? I don't know. And the strength, the 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 set strength is. Uh, I mean, that's still from. No, because I loaded the file, but because maybe, maybe because of me loading the file, it won't actually change. Um, so let's get some eyebrows in here. Oh god, that just looks terrible. Uh, yeah, we want to add a lot more here. There we go. Smooth that out. A little bit more of a neck going. This has to be a little bit more out there. Uh, just flatten brush. There we go. Hey, Mamuka, how are you doing? Live long and prosper. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a little bit more of a stylized character. Um, As we do here, it's gonna be like uh, I want to kind of fit. I have the time a little bit more to polish something, and not spend too much time on trying to get the basic shape in there because uh, I feel like a lot of the last streams were just that. Um, it's too many shapes, too many things to do, and it's like um, yeah, it's not really manageable. Uh, I like shorter streams. I mean, we're doing two-hour streams uh, for the short uh, for the, the, the short movies, like four-hour streams. But doing that, like I did it three times a week, so I'm streaming more hours now, uh, technically. But it does um, it does take a toll. <laughs> it's because uh, for sculpt anyway, I don't have to be. It's weird to say I don't have to be creative. I have to be creative, like in what I make, right? But I don't have to go with content. Um, I'm gonna have to call you back later. Uh, 
Sorry. Um, a phone call there. If it's urgent, they call again. Um, that starts to look like a crocodile. Gonna put in some eye holes. Reposition that a little bit. Okay, so now we can add some ice. To put up some music. Um, uh, gonna put up some music. Uh, like let some ninja sex party. Um, Go in there, Danny. Don't you know? So keep it very silent. Don't have to. So I'm not gonna talk too much, except if there are questions. I always say that, and I end up doing a whole tirade. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to talk about something today, but I don't remember what it was. I'm not streaming the music, am I? No. I don't know how Ninja Sex Party would feel about their music being... Oh, wait, I'm sculpting on the wrong thing. About their music being uh, streamed. Like, as a legit question, because... Like, I, I know they have a... If you don't know Ninja Sex Party, by the way, look them up. It's a nice, uh, it's a little more comedy flavored music. Definitely going into a more serious uh, direction in the last couple of years, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's a weird mix between making fun of the genre, I guess. Well, they don't really make fun of the genre like Steel Panther does, but they kind of, yeah, it it went a little bit from parody to a little bit more serious stuff which is fine you know just gonna check the shapes here Kind of makes sense. Maybe poke the head a little bit out more. Have that spherical shape in here. Not make it too egg shaped. Kind of looks like a dodo at this point, but I guess that's because of the. Uh... Okay, I have a strange opinion towards everything ninja. Sex party and game grumps. I feel like, uh, like there's times I love their content, and there's times that I'm not really in the mood for it. I don't know. I guess like something that comes along with it is that I have less time. Um, to uh, watch the kind of content. Like it's definitely like I stopped watching, cause like. I love like Dungeons and Dragons, for instance, right? And uh, friends of mine were like, "Oh, you have to watch um, um, Critical Role, which is like this uh, this Dungeons and Dragons session by some voice actors. <laughs> There's some voice actors, but uh, and it's great. Uh, I saw like pieces, and it's because they they're so good at storytelling, and it kind of makes it into this this." fancy adventure um, that they kind of tell very nicely um, but um, it's four hours an episode <laughs> and I don't know like if I still had like a steady job or I had like the, the comfort of uh, not having to pay a hundred percent of my attention to it I maybe would watch it put it on but now it's just like uh, I don't know. 
I, I, I can't find the time for it. You have to make time for it, of course. But and like especially also with other YouTube uh, channels, um, it's a bit like uh, I lost. I lost interest in watching long content, like the thing that YouTube really pushes on you. Um, like I don't watch any, like I, uh, I said this before, like I don't watch any streams, not because I don't find them interesting or, like for instance, uh, talked about the Joe Rogan show yesterday, which I also would like to follow a bit more and because it's a great, like, it's, it's a nicer talk show. It's a talk show with somebody who lets their host, uh, lets their guests finish and uh, kind of talks about interesting stuff and kind of challenges um, what a talk show is and what it should be in some sense. But um, at the same time, yeah, again, it's it's a little bit too too long to follow everything, and so I just watch the highlights. <laughs> I don't know. That's one with the game grumps, like they like they used to have 10 minute episodes like i think two each day and it's like 20 minutes so i, I can manage it and now it's again like i i get why they have to do it but it's longer episodes and it's like okay 40 minutes and then by the time i finish that like three more episodes have come out and i'm like yeah no <laughs> Uh, let's see what can I hear. So, like, I still watch the Philip DeFranco show. Kind of, that's a good new show because I don't watch TV as well. Because, like, who can be bothered to watch regular television, you know? <laughs> but um, here in Belgium, it's I don't know. There's some. I talked to some friends of mine who still follow television and are kind of into TV and work in the industry as well. And they kind of pointed to uh, to me that there's. There's some good stuff out there, um, definitely. I'm just gonna watch out some other reference because I need to understand those shapes a little bit better. There we go. Now, I guess this can be longer. Uh, not that long. But then this we can kind of make more into a shape here. Point his nostrils a little bit more forward. Um, I mean, like I have like an hour a day to spend on watching videos, maybe because like I, I do want to pay attention to them. Um, I definitely used to watch content more passively whilst working. I start doing that less and less, um, because I, so you're focusing on work and then you're kind of missing out on stuff and then it's it's a bit like yeah I don't know. Not to say that people shouldn't do it, of course. I think like everybody has their own work style. Because there's this animator who said like oh, I don't listen to music while you're working and I'm like. Eh. You know, yeah, it distracts from what you're doing, but sure. But I think, in especially in art, it's kind of good to be distracted from time to time, just so you can kind of be a little bit more fresh on what you're doing. Um, just flatten the brush here a little because it's getting a little bit too blobby. I want to. Tuck the lower eyelid in here. Kind of give him a sneaky uh, expression here. Because like I definitely like had jobs where, um, you know, it's so automated, like a pipeline and what you have to do that. 
if, if you would not listen to music or like have some passive content in the background like you would just die of boredom because there's definitely like i've worked with people who were like uh no you you work better if you don't have distractions but i don't think that's true because um i mean sure if you're doing small tasks and if you know how to kind of uh if you if your job relies more on communicating and focusing on smaller stuff like management functions or uh all that good stuff but um i feel like even 3d jobs sometimes are like easier than than even like like working on a on a treadmill treadmill um what do you say he looks so happy yeah he's a, he's a happy little uh gator or crocodile i should really see what i'm what i'm making one of the two because <laughs> Well, I think it's fine. I think I shouldn't be too fussed about it. Um, I'm gonna put this one a little bit down though, so I can just make it curve a little bit like this. There we go. Give it a little bit more. It's a girl. It feels like a girl. So I made those eyebrows a little. It's not bad that it's a girl, of course. I mean, I'm just gonna smooth this out again. Make this line a little bit more consistent. There we go. All right. I'm gonna bring, bring in this line. I'm gonna go for the really stylized, clean look this time. I'm gonna make no, no funky textures or things that could be dubious and we're going full on cleanup. Uh, we're doing fine up till now. I'm just gonna put in, because I need to figure out how this is gonna work. Uh, because I definitely want this line in here, right? I guess that needs to be pumped up a little bit here. Bring this down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna remesh real quickly. I'm going to 0 0.006 because I want a lot of detail um, in some places, but okay. Figuring out where I want my lines here. brush get some blobbiness out of here now let's use the flapper brush
Oh, whoops. It's going a little bit too hot there. a little bit more together. All right, wait for a second. Did I say that tonight, uh, last night? Like, there was this moment um, we were sleeping and I said something and it scared my girlfriend awake. Um, and the only thing I remember that it <laughs> ended in a ash sound. Now I'm wondering if I was dreaming about sculpting, like... <laughs> And I said rematch, and she just woke up like, what? <laughs> that would be so weird. Then I really need to stop sculpting, because <laughs> if I'm having dreams about, dreams about it, then... Uh, yeah, it might not be too healthy. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to figure out some shapes in here. Um, like if this should be a hard edge, or this should be... I think this should be rounder. Um, because either we have full rounds, or we have hard edges, nothing in between. And that uh, look nicely. There we go. Just a little bit up. I want to give it a first cleanup round before I check what I'll add. See what's missing. I definitely hear like uh, do want to find this a little bit better. So we don't keep this fake. Don't want to give him a frown, so let's just do this. For at least.
I should use the masking tool to kind of Okay, and now we can kind of got quite as nasty as I wanted. Working with these kind of shapes is always a bit harder. Again, I miss some kind of feature in the sculpting and blender where it kind of takes into account the topology. Uh, not the topology, the, the connected. Well, the topology. <laughs> Um, not to say the flow of the topology, but like if I grab this, I kind of want to take it into account that this, that the upper lip, is not as connected. Like now, it's a sphere of influence instead of, um, you know, don't even know if that's uh, the case with the elastic deform, but yeah. And that's, I think that's not the case with the, yeah, no, it is. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, it, this is fine for now. But it's a little bit messy over here and I don't really like it. Kind of have to smooth it out and I like it and then I kind of try to pull in this edge and then either I use a very small brush and kind of have a 
less than perfect time with it. <laughs> or use a bigger brush, but then I kind of drag along the bottom here. But I think we're getting somewhere. So this doesn't really make sense at the moment. So I'm just gonna create something that. Use a flat mesh. And I want to start and bring a little bit more detail. But the shape is kind of there. Okay, next big question. Do I add a T flag these? No, probably not. Um, I want to bring in some friendly teeth, so not too, uh, not too sharp. So I might start with a cylinder. Uh, cap fill, triangle fan, that'll do fine. Um, yeah, 32 vertices, uh, vertices is fine. I'm gonna flatten this, I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna pick the, the top vertices and then with my uh, sharp uh, um, thingy. <laughs> not activate it oh there we go okay, that's not what i'm looking for uh more like sphere perhaps no the smooth this one smooth yeah i guess i kind of make it like sharper like this and then we can grab these edges i kind of bevel them out whoa first need to apply the scale and now we'll have more evenly distributed Levels. I want to shade them smooth. That'll do fine. So, with the lower half here, I want to add. Uh, I guess it can be a little bit thicker. So what I'm gonna do is grab these and move them on the x-axis, so we don't lose that bevel. There we go. And maybe what we can even do uh, in kind of shape. That looks good. Okay, I'm gonna move a new one over here. Okay, can I, no, I'm gonna try something, I'm gonna uh, duplicate object, can we not duplicate scale, no, okay, so duplicate them, we don't need to link them, and then I'm just gonna go in here, have them a little bit sticking out like this. Uh, yeah. It's not technically sculpting, I know, but you know. Have a nice transition there. Uh, have this as an array but kind of want to have a little bit more control over this and uh, let me just 
turn these around for this place and then these first become bigger there we go this one is the biggest here A little bit space here, why not? A little bit down, this one sticks a little bit more out. I think this one sticks a little bit out too much. Always look a little bit from far away to see if it makes sense. And one more. A little bit smaller. There we go. Now we can select them all. Add a mirror. Now press Ctrl L and select modifiers. Uh, there we go. I'm really quickly going to do the eyes kind of get an idea of what his expression he is here. Just a happy little gator. Um, so I'm gonna disable the X mirror, turn on radial Z to eight, remesh to 0 0.01, smooth normals, remesh, and smooth it. That was a bit too much, I think. But that's probably because we didn't apply the scale here. So go back to sculpt mode, remesh, and that should kind of fix itself again. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So the scale of it, like if you uh, choose a voxel size, it kind of goes proportional with with the scale of the object, right? So have your scales applied and all that good stuff. Do crocodiles have special eyes? Uh, don't seem to have. Oh yeah, do do. They have these slanted eyes, but I don't know if I want to do that because I kind of want to humanize them a little bit. Whoa, that was not the brush I wanted. So I'm just gonna go like this. So we're big enough. I'm just gonna focus on the eye and then push this edge in a lot more. Yeah, maybe we don't have enough detail here. Oh no, that kind of flies. Let's move it a little bit out. A little bit sharper here. Just move it out a little bit. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna come a little bit down. Can I give him a hungry look? And we'll go back to sculpt mode. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I feel like this, whoops, we want to turn on X mirror and turn off the radial. I feel like this has to be a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna clean up this. Okay. Just gonna already kind of scrape this in. Ah, uh, it's a nice point. Maybe which is a bit in. There we go. Kind of insinuate shoulders. Uh, it's a nice shape. Now, what do we want to do with you? Um, I know for a fact that we have, not in here, but what I could do, like, uh, this is this brush, okay. So I'm gonna go to brushes, I'm gonna 
I'm just gonna call this reptile for now. Uh, I'm gonna go to texture 003. I'm gonna make a new texture, open up. I um, have in my, I cannot give you these because I don't know where I have them from, but I can show you what it is and then maybe you could uh, f find something or make something yourself that looks like it. Uh, these are sculpting brushes from Victor Marine, yeah. So, but I don't know, I haven't used them a lot, to be honest, because they're very realistic. And doesn't, that doesn't really go with my style, if you catch my meaning. But he has some things I could use. Um, but I feel like if I add this and even like blur it out, yeah, it's a bit too sharp. Um, let's see if I get something else here. Maybe there's too much like detail in there. Uh, I feel like so you also have this one. Oh, come on, just uh, wait, mapping. Uh, wait, I think the, um, where's my, oh, wait, these are not my, yeah, okay. Um, tiled. Go to 3D. Ah, same problem. Uh, yeah, I probably want to use it as a stencil. Come on, where's the. So it's all the way down here. Yeah, I don't know how to work with the stencil, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't even see it now. Okay, cool. Uh, random. Uh, this will work. But it's still a little bit too. Should also invert this. Oh, come on. Really? It adds unnecessary detail. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to grab the blob brush. And I'm going to put the fall off on constant, I feel like. And then we could, in theory, first do this. I'm just gonna try it out. Like make these shapes ourselves, very rough. And then we could use the this brush to kind of. Uh, oops, that's a bit too big. A little bit of smoothing. Get away that texture. That kind of doesn't look bad. Uh, I can kind of use a scrape brush again to kind of bring in back these harder shapes. What was that sound? It was a weird sound. It's part of the music, I think. Smooth out in the middle. To, to roundish. That looks pretty good. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, so I kind of want to have some reference picture again. So, um, Definitely most prominent there, but uh, maybe even bring out an edge like at the back of them. ones on the side should be a little bit flatter. A bit more insinuated. Yeah, there we go. What I want at as well. Let's bring in the C. 
seam here and then flatten this out, make it a little bit rounder. Push them against each other. Uh, have it a little bit more forwards. Okay, and then we can maybe add some harder edges to it. Flatten this out. want this to, to be the only one so I'll add another one here a little bit bigger maybe now, of course should add it these sooner because I don't want to remesh it again so I already added some sharper edges um, but I think that's fine. There's just a detail in the back, so. Um, and anyway, it still looks fine. And at all last one, this tree's a magic number. For a reason. Whoa, that one was a bit out there. Ish. Okay, have them a little bit more consistent in shape. Uh, sharper, yeah. Smooth. Kind of bring out a little bit. Sure. Put this out a little bit more. There you go. It's a nice crocodile. Hmm. <laughs> I like him. Kind of happy to kind of achieved already a nice uh, result here. So I don't have to. Um, I can kind of polish it now. I don't have to panic. Do the nose a little bit better in here.
All right. Sorry for that. How's everybody doing, by the way? Sorry, I'm so silent. My mouth has stopped working officially. <laughs> I'm gonna probably take a break after Sculpt January for a couple of days. Uh, kind of figure out the planning and what to do with the uh, uh, Patreon and all that good stuff. I'm just gonna push this in a little bit further. So there's definitely, whoops, let's bring this back to smooth. There's definitely a hole in here. There we go. Turn off my axe mirror. Play around with it a little bit. Can even kind of put the neck in a Uh, it just looks kind of weird. Um, there you go. There's a small rotation in there. Looks fun. in the middle of the eye uh, mirror this there we go go into edit mode to kind of move it to the position you want hmm didn't expect that um, right I'm being a silly silly man no, what we want to do is bring this to the middle of the eye, apply the mirror, and then move it. There we go. Got a small highlight. Makes it cute. A little bit smaller. Come on. There we go. Kind of like an ugly edge here. I'm wondering if I should like kind of fatten this up here because the, the teeth are here. I think I just add some unnecessary detail. No, uh, that's fine. Small, small detail I'm still gonna add is a little bit. I'm gonna turn on my X mirror and hope that the eyes are still a bit mirrored. Yeah, it should be fine because the eyes are still in the perfect position, right? This should actually be better. Pull them back here a little bit. Just so we have a... Uh, correct it a little bit. It just adds a little bit of detail here. It, you know, it's nice looking. There we go. Uh, one hour. <laughs> okay, so let's go to our camera view here. Uh, oof. Uh, select our objects here. Parent them. Um, Oops. Right, those objects too. Let's see how this looks lit. 
after putting on good lining because oof, that's not good. Okay, let's just delete uh, all but one. Let's make this white. Let's see what looks best here, right? Just trying to find a primary light in here. Okay, it's a little bit softer. I can bring in a rim light. Bring in a fill light. Got a basic lighting here. Make the fill light a lot bigger and also a little bit darker. Blow a little bit more. Just see if there's maybe a. Uh, I mean, this, is, this works a little bit better. See both eyes. I'm gonna select my camera. Focus on the eyes. There we go. I could might even pull. Uh, Pulling the camera a little bit closer and put it to 40. So we have a little bit more like, kind of see the, uh, this coming forward more, the beak. Right. Oh, we still have to give it our uh, shader here. F clay new. Oh. Let's make the eyes lighter. So it's all pretty warm, so I'm going to turn on the saturation. Something weird with the uh I'm gonna turn off the subsurface for the eyes because there's definitely something weird going on. Now we can um, the normal put it at 0 0.5. I think also on the crocodile itself was a pretty hard so 0 0.7. There we go. I want to keep it subtle. <laughs> uh, and then the eyes I might even want to give a excuse me clear coat. Give it a little bit of roughness. So it just like a little bit of uh, less roughness here. I might give the teeth actually the same shader. Um, just like going like this and then materials. And there we go. <sighs> Good little guy you're making there. Yeah, he is. Uh, it's gonna frame the camera a little bit better. Come on. Now I want to maybe go a little bit funkier with our uh, lights here. A little bit of color in there. Something like this. And we also put in a little bit rim from the back here. Just like a bit cooler. Let's see here. Yeah. To make these shapes pop out a little bit more. <laughs> so I'm uh, listening to um, Atomic Karate from Twerp. Uh, and it has uh, Aaron Hansen talking in uh, like Japanese, and <laughs> it's, it's genius. Okay, I'm gonna do something weird. Um, I'm gonna rotate it around. Because I think like having the neck here rotate a little bit more is a bit nicer, maybe. 
But what I might do is actually because I do like the um, I might just you know scale it the other way around. So the lighting is still like nice. I think the camera is a bit too extreme because now it's big, just looks bigger. So I'm gonna zoom out and pull in the, f the focal point a little bit. Okay. Let's go to render. Like the uh, thing moves here a little bit. So I'm just gonna remove this thing here. Yeah. Does that start to render? No, there we go. There we go. That's a cute little reptile. It's a smaller sculpt, but it's more finished sculpt. Pretty happy with it. Looks cute. It's kind of looking like, oh, you're my new meal. Mm, yum, yum. Uh, so yeah, there we go. It's a shorter video <laughs> for the people who don't have the patience for two hour sculpt. Um, so I'm going to do the thing. I want to thank all my Patreons and do a special shout out to our Sir Knight Taylor Brown for supporting me on Patreon. Um, I'm just going to check because I forgot to do one thing before I start and was to check the Patreon. Uh, okay, we're safe. <laughs> um, you can support me on patreon.com slash bandai. Check out the tiers there. Um, there's more stuff going to be added. But uh, I uh, planned some things out. I checked some things. What I'm gonna do is finish Sculpt January and leave the channel as it is for now. After that, I'm gonna take some days to um, change some stuff uh, around here and there. Like nothing about the tiers is gonna change too much or nothing about the channel really. But just more of a um, refer uh, refurnishing everything a little bit. And so that we can go into February uh, with a good schedule or like uh, a good plan to what to do. Because I see that the eye tutorial is really popular. Um, and I think it's not because it's procedural, but I think a lot of people want to make characters. I want to make characters good. And I'm looking into making a one tooth is gray. That's, that's kind of <laughs> something I just saw. Uh, yeah. So, uh, kind of really quickly. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, but you'll see what's coming there. But um, I do want to invest more time into the YouTube channel because we're getting more and more views and it really looks like we could make something of the YouTube channel that might be amazing. So, anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching, uh, for liking, for commenting, for uh, being with me uh, so I'm not alone. <laughs> Um, so thanks all for watching, uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, press the bell button down below if you want to get notified for the streams or for new videos. And yeah, there will be cool content coming out soon, so um, you have six more sculpts left, or five, I don't know, I count counts. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, six more sculpts. <sighs> We're almost there. <laughs> thanks for watching, see you guys later, bye bye.